Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast with meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. All right, here's the setup for today. We still have those strong winds. I'm not expecting any thunderstorms, but there might be a couple sprinkles because there's a big pocket of upper level energy in here. This is a surface low, and that's up in the northeast states. There's a lot of cold air wrapping into it, so there's snow from Pennsylvania down to West Virginia, parts of the Appalachians and uh, Virginia. But when we get towards D.C., it's a bit more of a wintry mix. And down here, well, we're close enough to the high that uh, I think things are going to dry up. We might catch a couple sprinkles out of it. But between the high and the low, there's some strong westerly winds. Those are going to stay up through the day. Now, I'm scanning around Super Doppler 10. There's no rain. Uh, we're dry at the moment, but we've had that mix of sun and clouds since this morning. That's going to continue into the afternoon hours as well. And that's exactly what future track shows. So partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies. We may get a few sprinkles, but it's a, even for that, it's a low chance up through 6 o'clock. After 6 p.m., we start clearing things out tonight. Winds should settle down a little. And tomorrow morning, we're going to start off with some pretty good weather, but it's going to be rather chilly because of the clearing skies and the lighter winds. Uh, we could even see some patchy frost inland. More on that in a moment. Through the day, we've got uh, lots of sunshine. It's going to be beautiful out for Saturday. We have high temperatures aiming for the uh, near 60 degrees, maybe a few low 60s if we're lucky. And uh, Saturday looks great, but Sunday looks even better because it might be a little breezy on Saturday, but on Sunday, the winds will let up and we'll have plenty of sunshine and warmer temperatures. So the winds right now, they're running out of the west at about 10 to 20 miles an hour. They're pretty strong. These are the winds. Uh, this is where the winds peak. These are the max winds or the gusts. And right now I've got these gusts mostly up to about 25 miles an hour. Uh, Suffolk, though, it's 28 and it's 33 miles an hour, Elizabeth City. So we got a little while longer for these winds. Let's track those. So the winds are up this afternoon. They're out of the west, 10 to 20 miles an hour, gust up to 25 to 35 miles an hour. And we keep going through time overnight. <clears throat> Pardon me, the winds are going to settle down. And inland, where those winds settle down, that's where you get the coldest temperatures. Uh, now, along the shore, the winds will stay up, so lows will probably be in the 40s there. Right now, we're sitting in the 50s for current temperatures. 53 Newport News, 56 Norfolk, 54 Portsmouth, 54 Virginia Beach, and we got quite a bit of clouds overhead. We're partly cloudy to mostly cloudy. Same case for the afternoon. Hopefully, there's a little bit more breaks, and then if we do, then temperatures will get to near 60 in Virginia Beach, 59 Norfolk, 64 in Currituck, and 62 degrees in Chesapeake. Upper 50s in Hampton, 60 in Newport News, 60 in Gloucester, and more upper 50s, mid to upper 50s actually, towards Kilmarnock and also into Melfa. Those winds are gusting out of the West. They're not really going to let up until late in the day, and then tonight the winds will let up a little bit. But the inland spots where the winds let up, yeah, that's where you get those mid 30s. That's where you could see that patchy frost. So you want to bring in your potted plants if you have them outside. I know it's been warming up lately, but uh, be a little chilly tonight. So chilly tomorrow morning, but then in the afternoon we'll see nice temps, highs near 60, upper 60s on Sunday, and then some 70s happening for Monday into next week. Jen, Lex.